Can somebody explain to me how Sevilla have gotten this bad? They're 14th in La Liga, and they even finished last in their Champions League group. How? Hold on, bro. How? Well, the good thing is, finally, we'll get a new Europa League winner. But nah, this severe downfall is actually crazy, considering their team is actually decent and they've got Sergio Ramos in there. But fear not, I'm taking up the severe job to fix them. Okay, kicking season one off. What do we have here? Bro, I'm looking at this squad and I don't see why they're doing this bad. Enneseri up top. Who remembers this crazy header versus Portugal? Oliver Torres is a decent player. Ramos at the back with experience. Acuna is in there too. Yeah, and a few young Youngsters as well on the bench like Loic Bardet. Okay, I think I figured out the problem of this severe team. Look at the age of everyone. Bro, this might be the team with one of the highest average ages in the top five leagues. Has to be, man. They've got two players in their starting 11 that are 37. I know one of them is Sergio Ramos, but time always catches up no matter who you are. Not gonna lie, rebuilding this severe team I think is gonna be a challenge. But I've become the manager to achieve one goal, and that's to win this team, the Champions League. But it's not going to be so easy because we're going to have a few challenges to spice things up. Since this squad is basically an old age home, we're going to need to focus on the youth academy and develop three young talents. But also, this next challenge is going to make life really difficult. Every season, the first transfer offer that comes in from a big club, we've got to accept. Yep, that means if Real Madrid wants Sergio Ramos back and they come in with an offer, I've got to accept. The good thing is this rule goes away as soon as we win La Liga. But yeah, that's that's easier said than done. But all right, boys, let's get to work. Oh, okay. We've got 46 million in the bank, a decent budget. I'm straight away thinking what kind of signing I can make to improve this team. Bro, like the, the age of Ramos and even Goodell just isn't getting any younger. I'm thinking maybe we should get a young, talented center back because the other positions, we kind of look fine for now. We can put Fernando in there. We get ourselves a center back and I think we're, we're going to be sorted. I want to get someone from La Liga. Let's see if there are any good options. Yo, I like this. This guy, Igor Zubeldia, center back, 5 foot 11. Okay, I kind of don't like that, but it says he's a leader of men. Okay, he could be captain material in the future. But you know what? I, I quite like this. And he's pretty affordable too. If we sign him, we'll have money left to potentially set up the youth academy as well as get some new coaches and all that. Okay, guys, I'm putting 28 million as my first offer and let's see what they say. Oh, they're willing to work with it. There you go. I think we've gotten a steel deal. First signing for Sevilla Don Zubeldia. Zubeldia is joining the club. Wait a minute. Although I signed Zubeldia, it just hit me. The first transfer offer we get this season, I'm going to have to accept. Oh, no. And we've basically used up our money. In case it's like a top player, we won't even have money to bring in a replacement. Okay, I'm just hoping we get an offer for a random guy. Oh, it's one of the youngsters of the team as well. Real Sauce that have just gotten themselves a deal. A Tangai Nianzu. Well, it's a good thing we already signed a center back. But yeah, this is this is sad. Goodbye, Nianzu. It wasn't meant to be. And why is that guy wearing an icon jersey? Is this a new glitch in the game? To be honest, guys, selling Nianzu wasn't so bad because we've now got 21 million. And I'm thinking if I can generate a bit more cash, maybe we can get ourselves another midfielder. Because, bro, Fernando and Rakitic are literally on their last legs. I mean, Rakitic is 35. Fernando is 35 too. Bro, it seems like Real Sociedad want to sign our entire club, but they want to transfer Fernando. Do I sell him? Guys, he's He's 35. This will give us money to bring in another midfielder that we're looking for. I think I'm gonna do it, boys, just because of the age. And another big player I'm looking to sell is Gudelj. I mean, 18 million for him is game-changing, and this is how we're gonna reduce the average age of the team and just make the team younger. It's done, guys. We've sold them both. And look at that. We're basically up to our starting budget of 44 million. Okay, wait. We don't even need to get another midfielder. Juan Jordan, I think, can do the job for now. Do you know what? Maybe what we need is a cam. Because that kind of want to stick to this 4-3-3 attack formation. And yo, this kid is a wonder kid, Tommaso Baldanzi. I've never used him in career mode before. 20 years old, 78 rated. Do we actually have the money to sign him? I'm trying 35 million, but I think we're going to get rejected here. Ooh, but they're willing to do 39. That's going to keep our budget really tight, you know. We'll struggle to set up the academy and everything, but we'll have a really good cam. Okay, let me see if I can save a couple of million on this. And yup, it's worked. Let's go. We've got our second 
signing Tommaso Baldanzi. Okay, guys, now this Sevilla team actually looks decent. Wait a minute, guys. I was just looking through Sevilla's winger list, and they've literally got six right wingers. Are you kidding me? No wonder this Sevilla squad is in the mud in real life. They've just built this squad like idiots. Anyways, I'm cleaning up shop. I just sold Yanisai. Got like 15 million for him. Bro, Man United want to sign a 31-year-old Lamela, bro. Man United's transfer policy is always just stupid, but we'll take the money. Oh, 24 million for Suso. Bro, Sevilla are going to be money rich right now. Oh, look at that budget. 56 million. This has given me proper old school rebuild vibes, man. We're doing it all this season. With the newfound money, I say we got to invest in like a better right back for sure. Because Navas, his overall is only going down from here. And I think we can go for Nordi Mukiel. I don't even think he plays for PSG because of Hakimi being a starter. Maybe we could take advantage of that. And let's go. We got Mukiele for 25.7 million. Okay, guys, I think we've got the team sorted at least now with some younger players coming in. It actually looks good. With the money left, the first thing I'm doing is just signing all the best scouts possible because that is so important to developing a team. Talking about Youth Academy, we need to find three super talents. And the only way we're doing that is by hiring the best scouts. So I've hired a five-star, five-star scout and another five-star, five-star scout. I've just spent eight million on youth scouts. Okay, we'll send one of them to Spain. Maybe one to Portugal. I don't mind that at all. And I'm thinking for a change, let's just send one to Uruguay. Who knows we find an incredible player from Uruguay. But all right, we've got everything sorted for the first season. Time to see how we do. Wait, what? We're starting off the season with a UEFA Super Cup game against Man City. Oh, this is going to end really bad. I mean, it's a test to see how we've improved the team, but I don't know how this is going to go down. And well, we took this game to extra time, but we did end up losing. Moving on from that loss, we've made it to the end of the season, and it's nice to see we're not in the bottom half. Oh, we actually finished fifth, of course. It's Sevilla. They just want Europa League football, but maybe that's good, especially considering where this squad is right now, because, yeah, we didn't even have much growth this season. Also, where's Ramos? Oh my days, Ramos has just collapsed on his overall. So has Ivan Rakitic. I don't think they're gonna be here next season. Also, even players like Baldanzi, we paid so much money for him, and he still didn't grow even by a single rating. What happened? Bro, oh, we only played 22 games. I think he was injured, man. Ah, that's annoying. Talking about injuries, our goalkeeper's got a broken tibia. What kind of luck are we dealing with here at Sevilla? He's out for the next five months. Bro, with the veterans leaving, our goalkeeper completely out of action. We've got a proper job to do in the second season. But we do have one good thing to look forward to. And that's the Youth Academy. Our scouts actually came back with top tier talents. Except the Spanish scout, guys. He's a fraud. Bro couldn't find me a single decent player. Do you know what, dude? Like, nah, I'm, I'm firing you. you. I sent you to Spain to find this place and you did nothing. So get out of here. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. But look at this, boys. We've got Isodoro Diaz from Uruguay, 66 rated already. Diogo Duarte, again, 64 rated at the age of 17. And Eulogio Abru, a left winger that's already 68 rated. All of them with crazy potential. You know, the challenge was to develop three Youth Academy players, and I think these three have to be there. Yep, I'm promoting all of them to the first team. And we're going to be trusting these Academy players by putting them on the bench, because that's the only way we'll get them to grow in their overall by keeping them a part of the squad. But yep, guys, we still need to focus on improving that first team, especially now that Ramos is gone, Jesus Navas is gone, Rakitic as well. And okay, we've got a reasonable budget to work with, about 55 million. But don't forget, boys, the first offer that comes in for any one of our players, we're going to have to accept it because we're not La Liga winners yet. Also, it goes without saying the Youth Academy players are exempt from this rule. Please don't be Enneseti. Anyone else I'm okay with. A few moments later. Are you actually joking? Like, are you actually joking? Igor Zubeltia for 31 million. We just signed him. Yo, that is so freaking annoying. But hey, the rule is the rule. The first offer that comes in. We're accepting it. The fact that we just signed him, man, he was part of the rebuild project. I think I now know how it feels like to be a manager of a club like Sevilla. Every time a big club comes and just takes away your talents. It was painful, man, selling our best center back like that. But there's a way you guys can help me cope with the pain a little bit by subscribing to the channel. We're trying to hit a million subscribers and you guys, with your support, can help me get there. Okay, what's actually happening?
happening? Are we going to have to sell everyone? Rafa Mir, who is our backup striker, his release loss has been met. No way. And for some reason, yeah. I can't even renew his contract. He's actually gone, boys, for 30.4 million. We couldn't even do anything about it. Well, to be fair, it's given us a lot of money to improve the team. So that's a good thing. But we've got work to do, man. We need a new center back, a new goalkeeper. And I'm thinking, what else can I do with this team? Do you know what? Let's teach Roma a lesson. They stole our center back. We're going to now steal their goalkeeper. Alex Romero, he's Spanish as well. This kind of makes sense. Hopefully, I can get him for like 46 million. I think that's a good offer to just start with. And nope, that's not going to work. In the end, we had to pay 55 million. But hey, at least we've got ourselves a solid goalkeeper. Hopefully, he doesn't end up getting injured. Do you know what? I was just thinking about which defender we can sign because we've got the money. But then I thought this might be an opportunity to trust one of our academy players in Diaz. I'm thinking, why don't I just convert him to a center back? It'll only take a couple of weeks and maybe we'll just slowly start developing him. Because if we keep signing players, we're not going to really see these academy players grow and we need them to grow. And there you go. As a center back, he's actually a little bit better. We'll stick development plans and all on him. And yep, I'm putting him in the starting 11. Is that a risk? Maybe. But if it helps him grow in his overall, it'll be worth it. And the good thing is I can now use the rest of the money to bring in a solid midfielder. Okay, guys, I've heard a lot about this guy, Alex Baena, and he seems the kind of signing Sevilla would make. He's only 23, and I think we should be able to get him for like 30 million. This would be an absolute steal, and there you go. With that, we've got ourselves a new midfielder. One thing's for sure, this season, we've got the average age of this side down by a lot. But the fact that I'm trusting a 68 weighted Diaz, bro, he better become the next Ronald Araujo. We're getting through the season, and I'm already worried to see if he's going to perform. Okay, guys, we've made it to the end of this season, but I want to see if Sevilla are really the kings of the Europa League. Well, it's not a good start because they finished second in the group, but we've knocked out Arsenal. Okay, round of 16 done. What the finals knocked out Newcastle, bro. Sevilla going all the way, and yes, indeed they are. I'm so glad we knocked out Roma. They stole our center back. They, they deserve this. And a final against AC Milan. Milan are the favorites. But bro, Sevilla are the kings of the Europa League, and it's time to prove that now. Can we win the Europa League with Sevilla? Huh. That's, that's depressing. Okay, let's look at the positives. And we finished second in La Liga. Wait, wait, wait. What just happened? Barcelona third. Real Madrid sixth. Bro, La Liga's all over the place. Villarreal won the league. Now that I think about it, this would have been our chance to win La Liga. No. I don't think we're going to get a better opportunity. One thing's for sure, boys. Isodoro Diaz. This kid might actually be the next to Rajo. We put him in the first team and he went up by six ratings. And also, all round some soft. Solid group. Baldanzi finally decided to show up. He's up to an 82. Endeseri up to an 85. And also Ocampos. Where did he come from? 29 goals. Fair enough. We're building a team, boys. Maybe next season we'll have a squad to win La Liga. Season 3 and we've got our biggest budget yet. 85 million. I'm sure that's the Champions League money coming through. And with that, I think we could make some really cool signings. But more importantly, I kind of want to continue giving the youth players more of a chance. Because look at Eulogia Abru. He was on the bench, mostly played as a backup player. Still, he's up to a 71. Duarte didn't really grow that well. He's up to a 68. But I think if we convert him to like a left back, that should really help his uh, chances to play more. Because he could probably take over Acuna once he retires. This season, though, my plan for improving the team is just juicing up that midfield. I think we should save Gabri Vega's career. My man is stuck playing in the Saudi League as a 23-year-old. He's 83 rated as well. Bro, this would be an unbelievable signing. I'm putting Sal in the swap deal and that should make this even cheaper. Maybe 30 million plus Sal and we get the deal done and we actually do. It's another top tier signing that we've just made. You know what guys? I don't want to make any more signings. I'm actually really happy with this team. It's now a super young squad, a lot of talent. I just want to see the academy boys just stepping things up a bit more. Come on. Oh, wait guys, I'm forgetting something aren't I? That's right. I have not accepted the first transfer offer that comes in yet. We didn't win the league. We've got to do it. All right, let's sim and see what's the first offer that comes in. Oh, this could be painful. Okay, Montiel. 
Bell? No, that, that'll mean barely any depth for the fullback position. Okay, um, I mean, we have to accept it anyways. Do you know what? I've just got to be glad it was not one of the big players. Because can you imagine if it was one of the first team players? That would have been a problem. On the flip side, now Duarte is the only backup right back we've got. And that might mean we might see him get more game time. That could be a good thing. Also, this season, we're going to be in the Champions League. Why is this guy still wearing the icon kit? End of the season, and it's actually looking good in the Champions League. Normally, Sevilla just spammed the third place, but we finished second. Wait, what? We just knocked out PSG. Are you actually kidding me? No way. We knocked out RB Leipzig in the quarterfinals. What even is happening? Now we got Fenerbahce in the semis. We've made a Champions League final. Bro, I cannot believe it. In our third season with Sevilla, we're somehow so close to just completing the challenge. I am at a loss for words. And it's against AC Milan, by the way. The team that beat us in the Europa League final. Like, how has this happened? No way. The funny thing is, we finished fifth in La Liga, which means next season we won't even be in the Champions League. Plus, we'll have to probably accept the first transfer offer that we get. But we could avoid all of that and do the most underdog thing ever. It's such a severe thing. If we can pull this off and win the Champions League, brah, I've never seen this happen in the fixing series like ever. Gotta say, one of the best decisions we made was making Diaz a starter. Bro has gone up to a 78 overall. And it's not like he didn't play. He played 39 games this season. Look at the growth on Duarte. I guess it helped that he was forcefully played at left back. We can finally convert him to a left back. Ebru's growth has been a bit low, but still 74 rated. But nah, how has this team reached the Champions League final? That's that's what I'm wondering. Ocampos banged in the goals. Enneseri as well. Baena and Baldanzi, they've gone through massively. Vega as well. I guess now we've got one job and that's to somehow win the Champions League. But if you remember, one of the challenges we had was to use our three academy players and that's right for this final. Abreu is going to have to be put in the starting 11, I think. We'll put him on the left and Ocampos on the right. Duarte is going to have to start as well instead of Acuna, which is a bit annoying. But yep, we've got the academy players in. If we somehow win this Champions League final, it's done. Bro, I've never been this nervous for a Champions League final on the game, especially in the fixing series, because usually we have a team that can win. But now we've got three academy players in the starting 11 that aren't at their full potential. And also, we got so lucky with the draw, man. Leipzig and Fenerbahce, I don't know what kind of luck we were on. But now let's win this. Here he is from the academy, Duarte. <gasps> and okay, that was not the start I was expecting from him. Yo, we've already been exposed in the first minute, but the Uruguayan Diaz is doing a good job. No, he isn't. Somebody <laughs> save it. Keeper saves it. Nope. And again, bro, we're going to concede a fair few goals in this game by the looks of it. Gotta say, our midfield is definitely the strong point. We've got ballers in there. And here is the man, Abreu, from the academy. What can he do? Okay. Okay, the dribbling is actually really nice on him. Maybe not. Oh, Abreu, good pass. In this area now, but he's too far. Oh, maybe he's gone through. He's actually gone yeah. through. No, Mike McNan. You can't be saving that. The ball just keeps falling into Abreu's path, man. I think he's destined for something big here. He's got a bit of pace. Cut back. No nope. proper chance, but we wasted it. Half time, it's nil-nil, and it just hit me. If we lose this game, we're gonna have to do at least two to three seasons more. Because we're gonna have to keep accepting transfer offers. And a lot of random stuff could happen. Some of our big players could end up leaving. These next 45 minutes, the most important in my FIFA career history. Also, not gonna lie, even though Diaz is like 78 rated, he is rock solid in the back. The next Araujo for sure. Okay, go on, Abreu. If he doesn't matter. This year, it'll be crazy. Abreu almost got the goal. No, no, no. We're not conceding. Big save, Ramiro. I think that's one thing that's helped us get here. Having a solid keeper. No, 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 no. The defense has been opened up. No, no, we've conceded. No. If we don't score, we're going to be in for a struggle, man. You don't get opportunities like this often. Guys, I'll be real. The team we have, it's it's just not good enough. It, it really isn't. We concede another. It's basically over. Ramiro just giving us a bit of hope. Nah, I think AC Milan have just had a brain fart moment because they've just let a lot of space in behind you. And Nasseri has just gone through. It's a free goal. It's a free goal. I'm sorry for scoring the most sweatiest comeback. 
but I've got to do whatever is necessary to win by our scores. And somehow we're taking this game to extra time. I cannot believe the position we're in. No, no, no. We're not conceding. We're not conceding. Remiro, nope. please. Oh, that, that just, that was a bit too much for me. We've somehow survived until second half of extra time, boys. 15 minutes more and we could be playing penalties. Or we could maybe end up winning this game here with Ocampos. Keeps going. Ocampos might actually do it. No! How do you bottle that from there? No, 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 no. Remiro has just saved us. That might be the craziest save in the 119th minute. Are you joking? A volley like that, bro. Crazy. This is going to pens. I can't believe it. This is actually going to pens. Oh, boy, I'm nervous. Remiro, you've got to save something. Ah, oh, they score the first one. Oh, Campos is taking this one for us. He's good at pens normally, and he's converted this. Come on, Sevilla are experts at winning on pens and all. And bro, I dived the right way. Enesari, you're a striker. You, you, you gotta score this. He's missed. He's actually missed. I can't. I can't, man. We need to get a save in. We need to get a save in and Remiro does it. Come on, Baena. Put this one in. Come on. Lovely pen. Oh, it's Rafael Leao. He's scoring this. I'm not even bothered. Nope. No, he's missed it. A shocking pen. It's advantage, Sevilla. We've just got to score our penalty. And that's what we've done. If we can save this final penalty, we'd have taken Sevilla to a Champions League trophy. And it's a shocking pen. We've done it. I genuinely cannot believe this. In three seasons, we've taken Sevilla to a Champions League trophy. And with three academy players, they didn't even reach their full potential. Winning the Champions League with a team like that, I think we've done the most Sevilla thing ever. If you enjoyed this fixing challenge, I'm sure you'll enjoy me fixing Lyon, who are also in a really terrible spot. Click here to watch that.